Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe Nautilus Annual Calendar reference 5726A-001. You can see and you can purchase this versatile stainless steel Patek Philippe complication on a leather strap on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe annual calendar in steel. The watch on my wrist has a transcendent appeal, though based on a design that traces its origins to the mid-1970s, it is up to the minute contemporary and hip as the Nautilus, especially in steel, has never been more popular than it is today. It also has a transcendent appeal equally charismatic to the corner office partner at a top law firm and perhaps the CEO in tech who's just made it big at the age of 26 or whatever qualifies for prime of life in Silicon Valley. This is a watch that can equally please the young connoisseur and the veteran watch collector. A timepiece that represents all of the best threads of Swiss high horology, fine finish, Timeless design, enduring value, and quite frankly, since Patek Philippe also makes a rubber strap for this watch, you can take full advantage of its impressive 120 meter water resistance, whether chilling poolside or being thrown into the pool by your useless brother-in-law at the next deck party. This is a watch that does it all. A timepiece that I can wear easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Technically, the 40.5 millimeter size that you'll see on all Nautilus models. It's nevertheless a watch that wears a little bit more compact because unlike the bracelet which has a tendency to fight and flare against the curve of the wrist, the leather strap is far more compliant on a small forearm like mine. You'll note the watch is also reasonably slim for an automatic annual calendar. The timepiece measures 11.6 millimeters thick, notably impressive due to the water resistance that's included in that 11.6 millimeters. Now from lug to lug it does have a broad wrist stance, though not quite as broad as the bare measurement suggests. It's 52.1 millimeters across the wrist. Nevertheless, I throw out my usual rules for wrist fit and lug to lug dimension on this watch because the strap is so compliant you could easily wear this watch on a 14 centimeter circumference wrist. The timepiece features a generous and nicely made double deployant steel clasp. A little bit of extra peace of mind and security while donning or removing. It is Handsomely finished, as you can see, all of polish with a tr trigger release system whereby the swing arm of the clasp actually becomes the spring for the triggers. It offers security when closed and surety to boot. You also note that it's paired with a thin strap that nicely matches the profile of the watch. Minimalist with a folded edge, you'll note rectangular scale alligator leather, matte finish in black with a lightly contrasting steel gray stitch on the underside calfskin, and the junction with the watch preserving a little bit of an aesthetic link to the original Gerald Genta Nautilus, which did feature an integrated bracelet and case. You do have this intermediate high polished plot that serves as the bond between case, strap, and for that matter, Nautilus heritage and history. We can get a little bit closer now that the watch isn't on the wrist, and you can see to good advantage that the iconic Nautilus winged profile is preserved. The timepiece features these wings that do swell the case a bit across the wrist. When measured side to side, the watch measures more like a 43 millimeter. Rest assured, it still wears like a 40.5. Also, the finish of the metal is part of what you pay for and a large portion of the charisma and attraction of the watch. It's the bezel that sort of squares the circle or more precisely turns it into a semi-complex polygon. You'll note that it's not quite a polygon. It's a rounded amorphous form designed to take the design language of the rather geometric octagonal bezel of the Royal Oak and perhaps abstract it a little bit as Gerald Genta sought to outdo his own Audemars Piguet design with the original 1976 Nautilus, satin finished on its top, polished on its flanks. You'll also notice that there are satin and polished contrasts and highlights throughout the watch and visible from all angles. You can see the screwed in case back sinking into its recess. No crown guards necessary. It parks in a little garage within the wings on the three o'clock side. Now the dial itself features elements that we've come to know and love over more than 40 years of Nautilus history. You can see the linear horizontal striations that give the dial a little bit of texture and tension, and then there's the gradient quality that appeared during the mid-2000s for the 30th anniversary Nautilus. It transforms from a sort of silver gray at center to almost black at its periphery, and you'll note 
all white gold baton hands, counterweighted white gold lancet style seconds hand, and luminescent hand applied white gold indices. The annual calendar is also beautifully balanced with a symmetry and a gorgeous equal weighting top to bottom and side to side that's absent in the somewhat more whimsical 5712 layout. This is the complicated Nautilus for the Aesthete. You'll note easy to read, aperture style day and month at 12 o'clock. You can see that there is a crescent style moon phase with a coaxial 24 hour indicator at 6 o'clock, the 24 hour indicator giving you AM PM distinction, but also reminding you when the watch is in the danger zone, that period during which you shall not use the pusher adjusters to set the calendar manually. And finally, there is a date window at 6 o'clock, nicely anchoring the dial. All of the complications are right along a 12 to 6 axis. Again, balance is the word. Handsome is the effect. Turning the watch over, we have a variant of the Caliber 324. This one's a bit of an alphabet soup lesson, or an alphabet soup meal. Well, Put them together, call it food for thought. This is the Nautilus 324SQALU24H. All of that. What does it mean? It's an annual calendar. It has a center seconds hand. It has a 24 hour dial. And this one, automatic winding with a 35 to 45 hour power reserve only requires adjustment once a year. Provided you keep the watch running, it is the jump from February to March, the only time you have to adjust the annual calendar mechanism. Gyromax, free sprung balance architecture with a twin screwed Geneva stud holder. Let's see if we can get super close and there we go, even better, okay. Focus on the case back, you can see the free sprung Gyromax style balance. You can't quite see it, but present and correct is a Spiromax anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. The watch is adjusted in six positions, which is particularly impressive as a chronometer typically is adjusted in only five. Beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, the winding mass at center unidirectional for efficiency, doubling down on efficiency and durability by virtue of ceramic rotor bearings that operate without lubrication. Linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, circular Cote de Genève across the winding mass itself. Tight and even perlage beneath the ba base plate. You could see the base plate beneath the balance, rather. The tight and even perlage pattern, and then an even tinier micro perlage in spiral form at the center of the winding mass. So you have the perlage across the base plate, Cote de Genève across the bridges, black polished screw heads with chamfered slots, and although you can't quite see it in this camera angle, blame the strap itself. Perhaps from this angle, you can see a little bit of the glint and gleam of the mirrored anglage periphery of every bridge and the balance cock, hand finished, mirrored and rounded. You can see the same treatment within the jewel countersinks. This is a watch that rewards ownership of a good loop. A handsome, versatile watch from the family of perhaps the hottest stainless steel sports watches of the moment. Though designed in 1976 and brought to market accordingly, the Nautilus, especially in steel, has never been hotter than it is right now. On the market, this is the it watch of the moment, now and forever, time-tested and timeless, on the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5726A stainless steel annual calendar on our website. And we're back with the Patek Philippe Nautilus Annual Calendar 5726A. Though this one with its slim profile and its leather strap may have a little bit of a dress ambiance about it and a formality to its form, nevertheless 120 meters water resistant, robustly luminescent, automatic winding, and with an optional rubber strap available from Patek, there's no denying this one also has the heart and the soul of a sports watch. See it on our website.